Okay. So, I haven't really... I don't know how much time has passed technically because I don't remember if I logged out or exited the game right away or not after I was recording but yeah um, yeah I use fraps so there you go um, to record and I just gotta make sure it works so, I just felt like playing again. Probably not in the super mood yet to play, but the time will come. I'm wondering if I should start planting my carrots and potatoes yet. I probably should. And need some bread. Yeah. Let's go plant this stuff. So, yeah, earlier today, I was just thinking, hmm, I gotta, I gotta get diamond, I gotta get enchanting table, I gotta all, get all this stuff, and, oh. There shouldn't be a much of a brush. Because otherwise, it wouldn't be fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for dying. Whoa. Yeah, that doesn't look like fun. Uh. Get, I, get, I gotta get out of the habit of not having much, or of, gotta get out of the habit of expecting, of having everything, starting over, I'm used to, s to starting over so often, I'm not good at starting out. Although I think it's fun for some reason. There's something about starting out that you don't, that I don't get after I've started out in a game. You know, it's hard to explain. It's almost like once I build something, it's like I'm al almost kind of stuck with it in a way. Even though I'm, even though I could technically I could destroy it. There's something like psychological about it where. It's kind of hard to get back. Oh my goodness. I hate how fast they shoot. I just, you can't fight them anymore. It just doesn't happen. Thank you. I can't believe I, oh my goodness, for real? Does he really have chain armor on? Is that in 1.5 or what? How? How in the world does someone have chain armor? And you gotta be joking me. Come here. I want that. Oh man, that would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been the first time I ever had chain armor in, uh,. In survival mode. That is pretty crazy. I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix that. that oh, wait. No, no, no. Wrong way. Yes. I'm gonna use a different bow and I'm gonna try to make myself. Where are those guys spawning? There's like a creeper, a zombie. A skeleton, all of them. <clears throat> Where are they coming from? Uh, 
Interesting. I didn't know that it connected there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that skeleton would shoot me if I fell down there. I need to... I need to make myself a new sword. Where'd you go? I feel pretty peaceful right now for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to risk dying in the lava with it. With my only... Well, currently my only potato and carrot. Not like I can't get any more. But right now it's actually... I don't want to have to... Bonus. Oh man. Well, I thought I was. I thought I, d I didn't do this section yet. There we go. sword is going to break and I'm going to use my X. I felt like this is like deja vu. I guess I haven't been back here with the hmm. Yeah, so X is always like a secondary sword if you didn't know that. at this whole survival, caving, all that basic, probably should be just basic Minecraft stuff. I'm not really good at it, I don't think. But it's okay. I'm not playing this because I'm the best at that. I need 
to get arrows, but I need chickens for that. And I, there was chickens at the start of the map. Because I went back and I saw the video, there were chickens trying to follow me. All I have to do is make a chicken farm. And then harvest some of this. kind of caving, getting more iron, just stuff like that, just iron. I want to like light up the, the correct side of the cave without confusing myself on how to get back. That's not the right way back. What is the right way back? Aha! This is the right way back. Torches are on the left. Why is it so much simpler? Whoever taught me that was bright, it is so much easier. Hmm. We can get the lapis some other day or year, or week or month or whatever. Lighting glitch again. Whoa. Dark cave. But it connects. Hmm. I think I might... Whoa. Did you have his call for me? Yes, you did. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting close to where I can probably make some armor. So... And I'm talking... Iron armor. So let's let's make a chest plate. And then pants are uh, pants are like the second strongest. I can't remember what's the third. It might be the helmet. I think it is. So we'll just. You know what? I already had enough iron, apparently. So, okay, we're good. Now I'll die less. So this is good. Probably died so much that it's probably been annoying, but it's okay. It'll be less from now on. And I'm gonna go back. I gotta make myself another couple breads. Let's see about harvesting some good. It's midday. Let's harvest some wood. Make a fenced in area for some animals. Wow, I'm level 11 again. Man, I die so many times, but my levels just go right back up. I wonder I wonder how high they would be if I hadn't died yet. They'd probably be be pretty high. But you know what? They don't need to be that high because I'm probably just gonna do mostly level one in chance on everything anyway because I mean and just having iron armor now is gonna be awesome 
gonna help so much. I'm not gonna die as easily. Oh man. And I'm getting used to these creepers lighting up the area. You can just tell I hate I hate <laughs> I hated last I hated the first episode. Minecraft should be fun when you first play it. And it and it was when I first played it. But this wasn't the first time I played it. <laughs> so it's already been ruined. But it's okay. Because there's a lot of things I haven't done in Minecraft yet. Even though I've done a lot of things, there's basically an endless amount of things that I haven't done. That's what. That's why it's still fun. Okay. So I'm gonna. My my job is to find those things that I haven't done yet. Because I know there's lots. So I should come back and replant those trees, but I'll let their saplings fall. They're still in the loaded chunks that I'm in, so. This is this is just cool. Like there's like like there's just a random hole here, naturally, and then there's just like this what's supposed to be like a puddle and it's just above a freaking ravine. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna put ice under that, I believe. And then we'll populate that ravine or something. And by populate I mean I'm just going to Well, I actually might put animals down there. Maybe even villagers. Hopefully, if I find a villager, a uh, village naturally spawned, I can actually protect it. Can't believe I'm already thinking about that, but hmm. Okay, I gotta make a fenced-in area, and I gotta make a lot of torches. Let's. Let's light up. You know what? No, I'm just going to keep these on me. And then when it's nightfall, I'm just going to light. I'm going to light everything. So. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did they go? No. Where did they go? Where did they go? Did those... Oh. Let me check. If they fell down, they might have fallen down. No. Don't die. Thank you. Yep. No. They're... Oh, I have no idea where they are. Because technically... Okay. So they're somewhere... It appears as though they're there, but... I can tell it's... Th it's some glitch with items where... Like, they can visually fall, but still actually be somewhere... Else. Um, which is not good for me, because I just threw away like a wait no that was only like 26 okay yeah that couldn't have been too many no big deal anyway fence time we'll make four gates Wait, I didn't do that right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oops. I need to eat that. Okay, so as it gets nightfall... Well, I guess I'm not going to make the fence tonight. Today... As it gets nightfall, I'm going to light up this whole field. Cause I want this. I want to like prevent mobs from spawning everywhere. Like I just, 
I don't want them anywhere at all. I just want no mobs, no creepers, no skeletons, no zombies. I'm usually, I usually think of them as like nothing, but you know what? They are definitely something when I'm weak. And you know what? I got armor on too, so this is good. This is, this is a change. I'm no longer who I was last, yep, see? Getting less hearts damage. It's nice. Just wait until I get a bow. Just wait. I will have a bow someday. You'll see. And then I'll beat you. At your little game. Silly little game. I am having mouse problems. Yep, I'm gonna keep lighting this place up. You'll see. Ain't no mobs gonna spawn around me. That rhymed. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. I hate zombies, I hate creepers, I hate skeletons, I hate spiders. All of you. I hate all of you. All of you. And I'm going to brighten it up tonight. Because tonight is going to be a good, good night. And everything is going to be lit. No more zombies. No more skeletons. No more creepers. More spiders. Nothing. And if one ever spawns, yeah, what's up? Hmm? What's up? If one ever tries to spawn, I'm gonna find out where it spawned, and I'm gonna I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna light it so it can't, so it can no longer spawn. Yep, see? Creeper already spawned in there. Yeah, didn't you? Didn't you spawn in there? Mm hmm. Make sure that doesn't happen again. They're still spawning! I'm trying to make it so they can't. No, can't. My mouse, my mouse, my mouse, my mouse. 
sorry, but my mouse has issues. And it's supposed to be one of the best gaming mouses. Mice? I don't know how you say that. It's supposed to be really good. Actually, I've had this mouse for a long time. It's actually pretty good, but I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble lately. And by lately, I mean like just now. It's okay. You want to go? If you blow up that cow, well, I can't kill you because you'll already be dead, but. Seriously. Starting to get on my nerves. Sorry, trying to fix my mouse again. Chicken egg. Boring job of lighting up the earth. But it's okay. Um, give me a second. I don't know what is up with my mouse, but it just does not. I want to work right now. Okay, there we go. I put a piece of paper under it and I held the piece of paper down with my computer. Hopefully that will work. Hmm. Pretty decently lighted. Lit. Lighted. Lit. Skeletons are way harder than they were before. Way harder. Because they shoot. I'm telling you, they shoot like twice as fast or something. And that makes them like more than twice as hard because... Because it takes you... Before, you could barely, like, you could make it to them, but they would kind of push you back. Now they c it it's almost, like, impossible just to get to them. Like, they can... Uh, if they got you in the right spot, they could almost keep you back indefinitely, and that's not good. See? scary. You don't know how long you're going to be stuck back in his shot range. And you know what? It's morning and chunks are still trying to load. Let's see if that helps. I got a laser mouse, so it shouldn't have any problems, but apparently it still wants to have problems. Whoa. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's flatten this. Let's take this kind of area. And let's make a... Let's 
make a fence that's 16 on each side. That way I'll have a few extra fences just in case. Wait a minute, am I connecting it? Oh, yeah. I just kind of get some kind of area. Let's try to make it so that not only can mobs not get out, but let's make it so they can't get in either. That way, no creepers or skeletons who are on the outside of the fence can just squeeze their way in and let's put some gates doesn't matter if they're centered right now just trying to get some cows yep so just mark it with one there one as well. I only have one left. What's up, cow? That's right. You're the first one to be in your new home. Don't worry. You'll have some friends soon. Once I get enough wheat, that is... Only two seeds from three weeds? That's scary. I could run out of seeds. Hmm. You know what's awesome though? I have 13 bones. And this field is lit up. one good thing about skeletons. You get bones from them. Awesome. Let's put this lava... Oh, deja vu. Oh my goodness. I can see something happening as soon as I try to do something safe with the lava. Let's see. What do we put over the lava? Just put that. And then maybe just a warning. Hey, there's lava here. I'm going to like forget what that is and be like, oh, I wonder what that is. And jump on top of it and dig straight down. Watch knowing me okay this is why I put the lava there because I need water and I need a hole because I'm gonna plant a nice set of a nice couple rows wheat here. So Okay, so I'll put row, not row, row. Not row, row. So one, two, three, four, okay. So from what I know of water is this water should actually reach this corner. Oops. <laughs> Whatever. But it should actually reach that corner and it should also reach here. Because it re should go out four. And 
there we go. Oops. Okay. Now I need a couple more. And I will get those for sure. Because I have bone meal. And... Hmm. And they got three extra seats from that, though. That's not much. I need more. Your mouse still is not working, even though I is using paper. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I know what the problem is. It might not be the mouse itself, after all. It might actually be its USB connection. Could have been the problem. Who knows? It seems to be working better now. There also might be some lag of um, processing from the um, the video recording, so that might have something to do with it. Come on. Come on. I guess all you need is two. Right? And if I need any cows in the meantime, I can just kill the ones outside the pen. And just breed the ones inside the pen. But I'll also breed the ones outside the pen too. Since there's only two in the pen to breed. But yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna kill the ones inside the pen. Basically, until until there's until there's enough of them in there. Come here. Come here, cows. This is why you have a pen, because it's easier to keep track of the cows. You don't necessarily need a pen, but. It's easier to breed them and control mm. them. And make sure that they don't just keep running away, but actually having an abundance mm. of them in the wild is actually pretty helpful. So that's why I'm breeding these cows. Mm. Because I can come back and I can chop them up later. We'll just remember that there's more cowsies out there. They can't go too far. They can only go as far as the chunk actually load and will let them. And then I think they'll just... If they actually go past that, I think they just kind of like freeze or something. <laughs> like they just don't... Like they're just stuck, frozen. So... Yeah, all those cows are actually gonna. If I keep breeding them, they'll always stay within the area. And if, if they don't seem to stay in the area, then all I have to do is travel out a little further that way, and there will be a lot of cows. Let's plant. You know what? Let's make this row. This row. Let's make them. Uh, 
carrots in this rope. Potatoes. Just to... Just to start using our carrots and potatoes. Oops. That's fine. Nice. I'll just plant that there. Okay. So, this is pretty much how it is. Yeah, not someone who plays Minecraft. And at least from my perspective, this is usually how it is. It's just kind of... It can kind of be boring-ish in a way. It can be exciting if it's like your first time playing, but early on in the game... Oh, see? There's still mobs spawning. There's still tons of them. I don't like you guys. You guys have to mess up the whole ground, don't you? It's okay. I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll take care of the earth. Hmm. So, this one area, I haven't really explored outside of it very much, but as you can see, I am very interested in expanding here a lot, and have somewhat plans maybe forming in my mind of what I want to actually build here. Not sh entirely sure though. But I'll just keep caving and getting my iron and taking care of what I need to take care of. There we go. Hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Still got plenty of iron. And I don't know if anyone actually actually does, because I've never seen someone actually like record every part of their uh, series. Because I know it would probably be too boring for 99% of people. And then my uh, voice and monotoneness on top of that is probably cuts out the last percentile there, so... Don't really expect anyone to watch this, but if someone does, well, kudos. Hmm, let's think here. Let's imagine. What do we want to build? What do we want to make? Assuming... Oh. There's got to be something to get. There's got to be some way to like. There's got to be some way to get, to get rid of these creepers like permanently. And I mean like you can't prevent them from spawning, but you can. You can like. Oh man. I just I hate creepers. I just hate creepers so much.
I... I... I know how to fix this, actually. I, I actually know how to fix all the land here. I know how to do it. I know how to actually make... You'll... I... I know what I want to do, and it's pretty awesome. Um... I think I know what I want to do. If I, if I do it, it's actually pretty awesome. And I'm wondering if I should do it above this ocean. You, I used to, like, build under the ocean and, like, stuff like that. But actually, um, I've built things in the sky, too. Oh, come on. I want you to die. But yeah, I've built things in the sky. Hmm, I need reeds. Whoa. Does he have pink armor? Oh no, that's just enchanted leather. Man, this is... <laughs> All these, like... Mob... Zombie armor and stuff is new to me. Creepers blow everything up. Skeletons keep shooting at you to prevent you from even getting to them. Zombies. They're not like that bad at like a mob, I guess, but they don't give you anything useful except like annoying rotten flesh, which just kind of like makes you hungry to eat again and again and again. And then spiders. You cannot. I cannot fight them without getting hurt sometimes. Well, how did you get in there? You know, just forget it. Just, nope. I'm not even gonna pay attention. Nope. Should I build like a house? No, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not what that's not what I do. Hmm. It's about time I go mining again. Except I'm gonna go this way. Yep, I got. Oops. I shouldn't have hit that one. There we go. That works. Um, so, I want to make a mining hub and I'm going to so many different ideas I have, but I have to do them in the order that makes sense. Like, for mining, um, that has to come first. Before. And I can't, oh, I can't go down there. Yet. If I go this way. <laughs> I just, I need diamonds! I need an enchantment table! Ah. Forcing myself to do everything on camera is actually probably good because it'll teach me something. Unlike Etho, who says, you know, I'm gonna do redstone off camera or this or that off camera. Uh, it's probably good that he does that, but I'm doing this because I want to learn something new. I'm going to learn how to, like, deal with it, basically, if that's the right way to put it. Do I have a chest up here, even? 
or am I just being slow? Um, forget those. I don't need those. Put the chest here. Wow, I can see in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> the screen. Something's dancing. I got 11 arrows. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is going to get old very, very fast. Um. So what I want to do is I want to talk about something exciting if possible. you. Eh, actually you're fine. Didn't really ruin anything. I don't know how you got there though. Did I really forget? Oh my goodness, never mind. Actually, I need diamond, don't I? To harvest that. Oh my goodness. I need coal. Why am I harvesting this when I need coal? But yeah, I'm just looking for a lucky strike with diamond. Because this is really how it is at the starting game. Before you get any diamond, like before you have a diamond pick. Oh no, did he really? <sighs> he did. He did. When I don't have... Oh man, when I don't have him on me either. That stinks. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate skeletons. I think I hate skeletons more than creepers now because of that. I think so. Can't decide. I think I was at level 17, though. That's one of the things that stunk about that. Level 17. Oh, armor didn't do anything for me there. Okay, it's time to pillar up. It's time for me to take cobblestone and pillar up on either side of that ladder so that never happens again. I feel like this whole time I'm just doing things to prevent things from happening again. Because it's frustrating when things happen and they happen and they happen and they know they don't stop happening. Like dying. That's the one thing that I just wish never, I wish could just stop happening for once. Just once. Just stop dying. Oh, five levels. That's so nice. I mean, you could give me back all 17, but you know, you don't have to. 
not like I need them or anything to enchant or anything like that. You know, no big deal. Seems like every time I die I get five levels back. Okay, so... Yeah, let's pill her up. Because I'm not going to die that way again. Sorry, but... So if he shoots me from the left, I'll hit the wall. If he's on the right, he won't see me because of the wall. So if I just have one side... I mean, that should be good enough. Because look, like, even if he shoots me, like, see? I can't fall off. So, and besides, I can't do the the other side because of this. That's why, it, that's why I didn't do the other side. Because I need to be able to fall. So, yep. Now I'm safe. I can still get shot, but safe from falling. Just all I really care about at the moment. Hit me. Nope, not falling. Okay. So. I think I'm going to have to go chop trees again. Um, make another pick. Yes. Okay, so I have all my tools if I need to go mining somewhere again. Or caving. I guess I shouldn't worry about that yet. Maybe I should just worry about... build a mob system, but I am going to build, if I've come across a spawner, I'm going to build a grinder, and I love building grinders, I'm good at that, and if I come across a desert, I'll be very happy, because I know how to harvest a desert without making it look ugly, but all of this... All of this, especially on this, where the creepers do damage, it involves a lot of torches. So I'm going to have to harvest, like, all the coal I ever see. And I'm going to have to, like, use, like, lava or something to... to, um, smelt things, because... I need all the torch. I need all the coal I can get. Because I need to light up, like, everything. Did I get them all? I don't know. Hopefully. Like me to leave half trees. Okay, well, I got fifty logs, so might be able to build a little more something. Maybe maybe have some um couple chests. Yeah, 
Okay, you know what? Let's let's hang out with the cows. Let's kind of build around them a little bit. I don't want them feeling left out, if you know what I mean. They want to be part of the game too. This is good. Let's go breed these two cows. Breed because I will need you and your leather. Okay. Here I am at the origin, doing nothing of importance. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have what it takes to go mining? Probably. I'm gonna get sick of this little redstone contraption. After a while, seriously, it's gonna get old. But yeah, I need, I need diamond, and I need it badly. So I'm gonna space these out a certain way. And if I can't get coal, there's another alternative. Uh, yes, I said it. I said it, I said it, I said it. I said it. Don't judge me. It will help me find more coal. And then we can use the coal. But yeah, I'm about to go mining in this shaft and we're gonna probably keep mining until I find diamond and not just some diamond you might have to get diamond like twice cuz that's just how it is So I'm at level 12. I like to mine at 12, 10, 8, and 6, and I know how to kind of connect them all together. So if you're mining at level 12, um, mine three spaces apart, and then you can mine at level 10 in between those spaces, with the space in between. So you're actually seeing new blocks the whole time, but if you, if you, real, if you actually look at it, all the levels where diamond is found, if you mine straight underneath the level 12 at level 8, you're also looking at brand new blocks the whole time you're mining. And then you can also mine at level 6 between those. So, it's a really great way to like, kind of mine everywhere in a good spaced out even way without over mining, but without really missing anything as well. Because the floor of the, the space in between the level 12s is actually seen in the ceiling of the level 10 mine shafts. So there's really only one block, which would be like the one on the other side of this one, but not the one on the other side of that one. That would be like the only block that you actually don't end up seeing. But since we're on level t 12, the very top of the diamond level, then it's not that that doesn't even apply when you to the rest of the to my whole mining uh tactic
I'll show you what I mean in a second here because I'm gonna go back. So I just mined at level 12 here. Okay. So there was lava in the way for the level 10. But if we go down to here, notice how I'm good. So I can actually turn back and start heading back and eventually I'll hit lava guaranteed before I get back because I hit it when I tried to come out in the first place. So right here, I'll be looking for diamond. If I don't find it, you know, I don't find it, but at least I can search this one spot that I originally couldn't get to because there was lava in the way. But now I can see if for sure there is no diamond over here. I'm gonna do I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a floating island um, or maybe a few floating islands or something like that but I'm gonna c I'm gonna make them using I can't see those okay yeah, I can see those I'm gonna make them using smooth stone for the for the base because I mean that's what looks natural and everything and the way I'm gonna get that smooth stone is I'm gonna cook a whole bunch of cobblestone not using coal but using lava because lava is very nice it cooks 100 items you don't use up all your coal that you need for torches and I know I want torches I want more torches than, than what I'm used to using because creepers are annoying and so are skeletons actually in this update so creepers in vanilla are annoying and skeletons in this this update are very annoying so I'm guaranteed to hit lava sometime soon can't believe I have to do this, but I want to actually fix my pick. Put the, oops. Did I really just trap myself in here? Oh man, I am out of it. I, you know, that would be funny if I found, um, diamond just for, by digging around that diamond that I wouldn't have otherwise. Oh, well, actually, wait. Mm, I would have found it, actually. If I... Because this block is seen by the level 12. Um, this block is seen by level 12. This block is seen by the level 8. This block is seen by level 8. So, yeah, you can, you actually, the funny thing is, by spacing it out three apart, people think you, you can still miss stuff. And, and, and it's actually more efficient just to be okay with missing a little bit. Um, especially if the diamond like veins are usually more than just one. Because then all you'd be missing is one some of the time. And it would be so rarely that it almost actually honestly never happens. Because... Oh, all I had to do is come over here. And I could have repaired it. And that would have saved me. 
Why am I disappointed? Because it's actually you save 10%. It gives you a bonus when you repair items. It gives you a 10% bonus. So not only do you get the amount of the two items that were there, but you also get more than both of them combined back as a as kind of like a, a reward for f repairing your items together. And I might never come back down here again, so uh, just for the hay of it. even though it's not very useful. I guess I can use it for blue wool and that's about it. I don't know any potions or anything that use lapis. It's kind of a useless block. Here we go, with the lava. Or the obsidian, if you will. I'm at level 10, not level 17. Not like I have any hard feelings or anything against any skeletons. <sighs> so here I am searching for diamonds. I have no idea where the diamonds are. Except they're on this level somewhere. No idea how close they are, actually are though. Hoping that just one of these will break and BAM! Diamonds will be behind it. But yeah, this is a lot of soil that I can use to um... Repair the overworld, if you will. If you would call what I'm in right now the underworld. And all you have to do to make it good from spawning is just light it up a little bit. No biggie. Yep. I should explore some caves actually. That's. Oh, charcoal. Those were the five. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done it after all. There we go, lots of torches. Just what I like. And redstone and lapis can go in there as well. Yes. So I to do one little thing that I forgot. Oops, that's not right. Actually, that makes me wonder if I need another. The chest is gonna run out. So there we go. Okay. Anyway. I need to repair the ladder from the creeper damage. And I also would like to do 
this. Y equals 12. 9. 8. Okay. So I'm going to dig straight that way at Y equals 8. Whoa. Whoa. Not very good. Not good, not good. Oh, not good again. Hmm. I'll try this side. six and I can just dig straight this way. So there's also diamonds this level that could be any s on any side of me. And we found gold instead. As usual when you're looking for diamonds. And I'm assuming that when you're looking for gold you find diamonds instead. So let's just hope we find gold. It's actually kind of surprising how much gold there is in here. Okay. So, been finding a few different things, redstone, gold, iron, and all this is at level 6. So, comes to show that there's actually a lot each chunk has a lot stuff even just at the diamond level which is actually just a small small section of the entire vertical chunk that's usually where people spend most of their time though when they're mining is at the diamond level because that's exactly what they're looking for Lucky for me, this dirt room is all surrounded by the diamond level. So it has the highest chance of revealing some diamonds to me. Which it's not at the moment. Just revealed to me some iron. Enough for a pick and a shovel. So, yep. Okay, let's make sure we leave this lit, just in case I try to build spawners in the future. And yes, I said spawners, not grinders, because you can actually build, believe it or not, a spawner. It's not a spawner block like the ones you find in dungeons, but it is something that spawns. And that's it's more like a machine when it's very large. But it works. If you 
do it right. Spend enough time. Okay, let's build... Oh no, we have one. Okay, let's... Hopefully that one finishes in time for us to get... Before breaking this one. So, oh, I, ah, uh, nom, 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 nom. There we go. Let's, yes, let's just do that. That works. Again, after you use diamond and you get used to it, it feels like these break really fast. Probably shouldn't be clearing out all this, but... There's something about this dirt that I just want to remove every last bit of it from under the earth. I feel like it doesn't belong. I feel like it belongs as grass. That's just me being weird. Some strange OCD.
We'll be at level 8 right here. So right now I'm going further away. If I go back that way... Oh no, that's not good. Not good. Meh. And there we are. You know, I should put torches. Your skeleton full armor. I see that. The sun coming up. The sun is coming up. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, there's water anyway. This, yeah, this, no. Whoa, floating leaves? So, I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those videos that somebody just watches before they go to sleep. Because it is literally that boring. I 
but for some reason I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna get diamonds someday. We'll see. I mean, I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll see. You'll see. Come here, cowsies. You are mating with you. You are mating with you. I want more cowsies. I don't even have all of you in a pen. Sorry. Oh yeah, I need reeds. I need to start a reed farm. Yep. Reed farm. Let's eat these. It's damaging my health, but I think it's gonna heal me in the long run. Sad as that sounds. Reads. Reads, reads, reads. I cannot see out anywhere. It's like it doesn't render when I'm recording. It really doesn't. I can't even tell. Okay, so, whoa. Hmm. I'm glad I didn't do large biomes because these are large enough, honestly. Large biomes would get old fast. And I definitely left some kind of piece of log or something up there. It's driving me crazy. There we go. No, you should fall. That's why when you make a tree farm, you put a height limit on the trees so you don't have to deal with those types of trees. Much nicer. When you do that. I think you need glass or something like that to do that. Maybe ice. I wonder if I could play in such a way where I'm required to move every so often and never return to my home. Wonder if wonder if I played like that. And then just kinda if I happen to find one of the places that I used to live, then I can I can use it. But only if I just randomly stumble upon it. It'll be like ancient ruins, basically. I wonder how interesting that would be. To see someone like they have to move no matter what. Like every every like seven Minecraft days or something, like every week. They have to like leave wherever they s stopped and take whatever they can with them. And just that's all they can take is whatever they can fit in their inventory, and they have to go at least like 100 blocks in some some random direction or something, or that like they have to keep heading like north or something like that, like nonstop, just keep going north. 
Like, do you think they would actually gain technology eventually get to the point where maybe they'd get an ender chest or something like that? And once they get that, then boom, like, it helps them hold a lot more things that they need. Like, what would they carry with them? Like, would they carry diamonds, an enchantment table or something? Would they carry, like, bookshelves and a silk touch pick or something? Like, how would you even... I'm just wondering what, how that would work. What if someone did that? That would be pretty awesome. Actually, the first time I played Minecraft in single player, like legit, like, okay, I'm just gonna play this, like, have some fun or whatever, and, and actually, this was like two years after I actually bought the game. Like, I had the game for a couple years, never really played it, thought it was just some cool, like, college student project or something like that. And, for whatever reason, I paid for it. Like, I don't even know what. I just paid for it probably because... Is that what I think it is? That's a village, isn't it? That's a village, you know. There's nothing else would have a, a legit structure like that. So it's, it's a, it's a naturally spawned village in, what? in the swamp? I've never seen a swamp building before, not a naturally spawned one. It is so strange. That is just cool. This is new. This is something. How do you even get in there? That is freaking amazing. That is awesome. Dude. I'm breaking in. Screw it. That is awesome. I've never seen one of those before, but that is just... And it's got... Oh, that is so cool. I mean, a village is cooler than this, but this is something that I didn't know actually existed. That's why it's so awesome. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. And that is so cool. I can see the ground. Oh boy. So, I am going to continue my quest to find diamonds. I will find them eventually. I will find a spawner eventually. Be it a zombie spawner or something. I will find a spawner. Hopefully a skeleton spawner. 
because that will provide me a lot. Oop, wrong way. I gotta follow coordinates here because I just cannot see in the distance. It's probably the recording. <laughs> But yeah, that's, I think that's going to be it for episode two. That probably was just as long as episode one, who knows. And I didn't build any re more redstone contraptions, I just kind of felt like playing and played a little bit. Lit them some things up, made a armor, got a little bit more iron, and dug some caves, or some mines didn't really get too much done but hey it works I hate you creepers Level 20, 20, and I'm probably going to die again. I always have 8 iron for some reason. I don't know why. It's like always exactly 8. But I need food. And I was cooking some... Somewhere. I don't know where. Um, where was it? Was it in there? It was, it was like three beefs. Whoa, almost thought I moved for a second. That's so mean. I need to like... Oh no, I ate them. That's what happened. Man, I run out of food fast. This is not good. I don't want to live off Zimba flesh. Okay, so. Going to log out again. It was fun playing. Even though didn't really get much done. Didn't find diamonds, but that is my future. I shall find diamonds. But anyway, I'm going to. I'm gonna go in here and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. Save and quit when I'm inside the the cow pen here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs>